Okay, so get ready to put your brain power to work because I got a lovely little math word problem here for you. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. What gift takes more wrapping paper, a nine inch wide soccer ball or a eight by five by 12 inch shoe box? All right, so feel free to grab your calculator and you're going to need some formulas here. Now, I'm not going to tell you what those formulas are because some of you actually might know the formulas, but uh, if you're like, I have no idea what formula I need, well, feel free to uh, look up a particular formula. Use what you need to use, so don't feel guilty about that. But uh, do your calculations, and of course, the answer is going to be either the shoebox or the soccer ball is going to take more wrapping paper. Okay, so if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'll walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. And by the way, if this was an actual test question, you know, you should uh, be comfortable just guessing, right? As long as you're not going to get penalized for your guess. So even if you have no clue, let's see how lucky you are. Is it the soccer ball or is it the shoebox? Which one is going to take more wrapping paper? Well, the answer is the shoebox. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of surface area. Okay, that's what we're talking about here, surface area calculations. Now, some of you might have just kind of, you know, tossed up a coin and guessed and you said, well, maybe the shoebox, maybe you kind of visualized it and that's okay as well. But the whole point of this video is to actually uh, do some surface area calculations and compare, uh, obviously, the surface area of a soccer ball versus a shoebox. Okay? And, of course, you would have to probably more likely look up the area for a surface area of not a soccer ball, but a sphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solutions here. And, of course, we have a lovely word problem. And uh, just remember, anytime you're dealing with a math word problem or any problem at, you know, uh, even if it's non-mathematical, just in general, make sure you thoroughly understand the problem before you start looking for solutions. So I always like to use the rule of three, you know, read a problem at least three times before you start, you know, actually writing stuff down. But what we need to do here, okay, we need to understand what the problem is asking, okay? What uh, gift takes more wrapping paper? So we're talking about wrapping something up, right? So what is that concept? Well, when you're wrapping something, that concept is called the surface area, okay? And that's different than the actual area. Well, they're similar, but there's a bit of a difference. So uh, this is the, you know, kind of the main point of this problem, right? It's asking you, hey, can you calculate the surface area? And what we need to do is be able to calculate a uh, surface area of a ball otherwise known as a sphere in mathematics. And then of course we have this rectangular box. So this is just one big kind of calculating type of problem. And then of course we're gonna compare the answers. But before we do this, uh, pr before we actually do this, we're gonna need some formulas. So let's go ahead and take a look at the formulas that we need to do this problem. Okay, so the first here is the surface area of a sphere. So here is a, a sphere, which is, of course, uh, the same thing as a ball. And uh, we have in the center, and of course, I can't draw this perfectly here, but the center of the sphere is a radius that emanates out to the edge. Uh, so the surface area of a, fear, of a sphere, excuse me, is given by the formula 4 times pi times the radius squared. Okay, now let's keep in mind here, whatever our units of measure is, and of course, uh, for this particular problem, our soccer ball, our soccer ball is nine inches. 
So uh, now you can write it this way or nine inches this way. Just remember surface area or area uh, is in, in uh, units squared. So our area will be in inches squared. And that is not a trivial detail because uh, just real quick here, uh, let me kind of just uh, show it to you this way. Uh, so if I have a cube like so, and I want to wrap up this cube, right? So I got to find the area of this side, the area of this side, the area of this side, this side, this side, this side. Well, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I did that right. But anyways, uh, this concept is a surface area. Now, if I just wanted to find the uh, area of one side, we would refer to that as uh, just the area, okay? Now, again, if we're measuring the length, width, height of this thing, our area will be an inch squared and our surface area will be an inch squared. But distance just by itself, one dimensional, is just in units, like inches, okay? But area and surface area are units squared. And then if I wanted to put water and see how much water this cube can hold, then we're talking about volume, okay? And volume will be in units cubed. So that's gonna be inches cubed. And I um, kind of emphasize this because um, a lot of people will make these errors. They'll kind of uh, uh, disregard, or they won't be paying attention to the details of the units of measure, which is extremely important. Then they'll turn in their answer without an appropriate unit of measure. And then uh, they'll get points taken off, you know, their little test quiz or exam, and then they'll be highly upset. So just always keep these, you know, concepts in mind when we're talking about basic geometry, distance, and then uh, distance will be in, in linear um, units, area uh, will be in uh, squared units, and volume will be in cubic units. All right, so that is a sphere, and of course we'll calculate our uh, soccer ball surface area here in a second. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this shoebox situation. So how can we calculate the area of our surface area, excuse me, of a shoebox. Well, this is just one big multiple uh, area problem. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is length times width. And I guess to be precisely clear here, this is a rectangular uh, shoebox, right? So we have a bunch of rectangles. We have a rectangle right here. Okay, but this rectangle is the same as this rectangle. Okay, so we're gonna have to think about the problem in terms of this, these sides. And then we have these sides right here, which are the same. So we have our sides, our ends, and then we also have up here our little uh, kind of our top and then our bottom down here. So you're basically doing uh, uh, six little problems, but two, but basically these are pairs, right? Because the surface area or the area of this is going to be the same as this. So you just kind of have to have good spatial awareness to calculate this all out. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate the surface area of our uh, sphere here, or our uh, soccer ball. So our soccer ball is nine inches wide, which means that the diameter is nine inches. So the width of a, a circle or a ball is the diameter. So half the diameter is the radius. We need the radius for our problem here. So we just take nine and divide it by two. So the radius of our soccer ball is 4.5 inches. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need and we have our formula here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in 4.5 inches in for the radius. So this is gonna be four times pi times 4.5 squared. Okay, so we'll you know, use our calculator to make this easy on ourselves. So 4.5 squared, remember by the way, that we have to follow the order of operations. We have to do powers before we square anything, or before we multiply anything. So we gotta do this part first. So 4.5 squared is 20.25. Okay, so at this point, I am going to use a very rough approximation for pi. So pi, okay, there is no exact decimal value because this is what we call a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. It goes on to infinity. So uh, you're not going to ever get a perfect value of pi other than this symbol, okay? So if I want an exact value, uh, you know, in a geometry problem, I would just leave the symbol pi, like four pi uh, in inches squared could, for example, represent the perfect uh, exact answer. So you got to be careful because if the question asks, uh, find the exact surface area, then you have to leave that pi symbol in. But uh, what we're trying to do here is just come up with an approximation. So you can use various um, approximations for pi. The more digits of pi you use, 
uh, the more accurate your answer will be. And you can pull this number up, uh, pi, on your calculator. You can just look it up. So I'm just going to use the most basic uh, estimation, which is 3.14. I would not advise using anything less than this. So we're just kind of just looking at the principles of how to do this prompt. Okay. But just keep in mind, if you use more digits of pi, your... Um, surface area calculation will be more accurate. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do this. So four times pi or 3.14 times this 20.25. We'll multiply all this together. So this product here is approximately, and note here, I'm changing my symbols from exactly to approximately. So this is an approximation, 254.34, but what? Well, remember our diameter is inches, so our surface area is inches squared. Okay, so 254.34, now we uh, have to find the surface area of our lovely shoebox, then we can make this comparison and of course answer the question. So let's go to do that. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to do this, which is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This does help me, but my objective is to help as many people as I can. So by you uh, doing this, it helps that algorithm, uh, you know, really reach out and find people that may be interested in math or need help in math. My biggest, biggest reason why I started this uh, YouTube channel was to really um, help explain, you know, what uh, a lot of people may think is complicated math concepts. And math can be complicated, but if it's taught, if math is taught in clear and understandable, comprehensive ways and in, in kind of a non-textbooky manner, then far more people can understand math than uh, typically what is the case. Okay, a lot of people struggle in math because they're just not getting adequate instruction. instruction and then they kind of give up uh, way too early. So if that is you, don't give up. Uh, hopefully you'll subscribe. And if you're gonna do that, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's get back to the prom and take a look at this shoe box. All right, so here's our shoe box measurement. So we got an eight by five by 12. So I'm just gonna kind of assign these uh, dimensions to my little uh, diagram of a shoe box. So here's a 12 inch length. So we have the height and the width. So we have to now look at this and say, all right, uh, we're gonna have a lot of little prompts here. So we gotta figure out the area of this end right here. But if we figure out the area of this, well, it's the same as this, right? So we're just gonna have pairs here. And if I can figure out the area of this side, well, it's gonna be the same as this side. And then of course we have our top and bottom here. So, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward stuff. And hopefully you can, you know, um, calculate this. Just remember the area of a rectangular uh, object is just length times the width. All right, so we're just talking about basic multiplication here. So let's go ahead and do this now. So let's just take it uh, step by step. So we'll start here with these ends. Okay, I'll call them end caps or we call them the end of the box, whatever nomenclature you want to use. So we'll start with these sides right here. So you have to focus in and look at the dimensions of this. So this is a five by eight, right? So five by eight over here and over here. So we have two of these. We have to calculate the area, right? So this is gonna be five times eight, but we have two of these. So that uh, accounts for our ends. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our sides. I'm gonna call these right here, the sides, if you will. So right here and right here, okay? But what are the dimensions? Well, we have 12 by this, and this side's gonna be the same as this, is the same as this, so this is 12 by five. And of course, we have two of these, so or 12 by five or five by 12, so that would be our sides. And then we have our tops and bottom right here. So let me go ahead and erase this so we can focus in. So we're just gonna to have to figure out this uh, side and this side down here, which I'm gonna call the top and the bottom. So this would be what? If this is eight, this is eight, and then of course this is 12. So that, uh, we're gonna have two of those, two times eight by 12. Okay, so that's our tops and bottoms. So all we have to do is get this area, this area, this area, we'll add them all up, and then we'll have the surface area of that rectangular shoebox. Okay, so here is the calculations. So two times five times eight, which of course would be two times 40, that's 80. And then we have two times five times 12, which is two times 60, that's 120. And then two times eight times 12 is two times 96, which of course is 192. We add all this up, we get 392 what? 392 inches squared for the surface area of our lovely shoebox. Okay, so now let's answer the question, which uh, is going to require more wrapping paper, our shoebox or 
our soccer ball. Okay, well clearly we could see our shoe box will require uh, more um, uh, wrapping paper. So the concept of wrapping or wrapping around is surface area, right? So not too difficult, probably the most difficult part of this problem is remembering the formulas, okay? Now, if you want to kind of refresh some basic uh, geometry, uh, things like surface area, volume of basic figures like, you know, spheres, uh, and uh, let's say like triangles or pyramids and things like that. Let me give you a, a suggestion. Um, I teach this um, in my pre-algebra course. I have a couple chapters on basic geometry. So that's a good um, course for those of you that want, may want to kind of brush up on some basic algebra and some basic uh, geometry, okay? Also, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel on all things geometry. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.